Hello viewers, uh, today we will be discussing a new topic that is called as the Internet of Things which is a booming technology in today's world. So stay tuned to my video for this introduction lecture on Internet of Things. This is Ranjiraj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, uh, Internet of Things from the name itself you will come to know that it is an internet or the interconnection of different things. Now, uh, these things essentially uh, are devices or like non-living things you can categorize it first of all. So, Internet of Things is the categorization or classification where we interconnect these non-living things such as devices uh, which we club together and then we uh, try to communicate or to establish a protocol between them so that they can effectively communicate among themselves and then they can uh, perform in a very good manner. So this is internet of things where we club all the devices which are there around us. Now there is also another term called as internet of everything. Now that everything includes human being as well. So that becomes IOE and this is IOT that is internet of things. So let's go with the basic definition of what the internet of things is. So it is an advanced automation and analysis system which exploits these many domains that is the networking, sensing, big data, artificial intelligence to deliver complete system for a product or a service. Now uh, in the uh, business or the industry of an organization, uh, you may use some of the tools for robotic process automation and many other things like uh, you have UiPath, you have Blue Prism and all those things. So uh, these are uh, moreover centric to an organization or a business now these will effectively communicate by using these many technologies like the networking sensing big data and ai now these all will be clubbed together and they will effectively communicate among themselves so that you have minimum human intervention involved in this now uh, moreover i essentially call it as the intelligence of things where the device has that intelligence in itself that when it has to communicate with the other suitable technologies around itself. So uh, that is basically the intelligence or the artificial intelligence comes into picture in IoT. So now these systems when deployed it allows greater transparency and control and also performance when applied to any industry or a system. So no doubt that the error ratio or the error count will be minimalistic in this as compared to human intervention where we can or we are bound to make some kind of uh, errors or errata in our uh, process or while doing our activities. So these devices are configured in such a way that they have their own intelligence that they can communicate among themselves. So uh, this term IoT was very first coined in the year 1999 and the progenerator of this term was Kevin Ashton. So uh, he is the person who was to first coin the term that is the IoT that is the Internet of Things. So that's a fact. And then you have uh, this roadmap of the technology that is the technology roadmap. This is uh, like for the Internet of Things then we have at the time axis on the X plane and technology reach on the Y axis. So this is an uh, increasing graph. Now at the base level you have the RFID tags that is the radio frequency identification tags for facilitating the routing, inventory and loss prevention. Now this uh, as part of application uh, I will apply it uh, to the dairy and uh, product industry where uh, for example you have a cattle in that uh, cattle farm you have uh, different kinds of uh, breeds of like animals you have cows buffaloes uh, which are milk breeding now for example say if you have made a rfid chip and uh, you have put on top of these animals whether on the horns or at the body of these animals then uh, you will have the entire control about the health of that animal the entire dashboard of that cattle farm will be available so you will be uh, able to know at which point of time at uh, which breed is being suffering from what kind of disease and what is the health status so you can get the complete information uh, for that particular animal so that's where the rfid tags 
uh, from the example basis I have uh, told this. So this is uh, mainly benefiting the supply chain people. So supply chain helpers would be benefited by this and demand for expedited logistics is going to increase and so we'll move on to the next level that is for the surveillance or security healthcare transport as well as food and safety so this becomes a vertical marketing apps uh, like for the we have cctv uh, cameras and all stuffs included uh, installed uh, in our societies or any organizations uh, or even the healthcare whenever we go so these will provide real time information of all the persons checking in and checking out of these places. So this can provide a vital role where the internet of things can come into picture and can communicate with uh, the necessary persons or the authorities which they want to communicate. And the cost reduction in this level is very much reduced leading to diffusion into second wave of application that will lead to locating people and everyday objects. Suppose if some person or a suspicious person has been caught in surveillance camera and then you have to locate it. Now in the current day it's not very uh, easily possible to identify which person or which uh, like or a theft or a robbery if something have uh, happened in a bank then it's very difficult to identify uh, that person or such gang. So with IoT you can locate in real time you can uh, locate such people and everyday objects by using certain kind of technologies or chips you can implement with it. Now you have the ability of devices located indoors as well as to receive geolocation signals. Now this uh, technical part will be discussing more on the protocols. So this is just a roadmap like where we have reached or where we have taken the IoT from 2015 to 2018. So initially it was started in the year 1999 but then to its presence and existence uh, came in the year 2015 when such a uh, booming uh, thing happened in the IT industry when the introduction of big data and artificial intelligence came into existence. So then moving about the ladder we have for the teleoperation and telepresence that is the ability to monitor and control distant objects which we cannot identify uh, from the near far but at a certain distant kilometers or certain light years ahead especially uh, in the solar system or and in the outside spaces if you are inspecting some uh, element or inspecting some stars or something like that then you can use IoT very much uh, there. So uh, this basically has the miniaturization and power efficiency for electronics and available spectrum. So uh, in those telescopes and all the satellites you can implement these kind of miniature level circuits in order to implement for a higher efficiency and for uh, power consumption with low power consumption you can run it for a longer period of time then moving up you have the software regions and advanced sensor fusions which is basically used for robotics for creating robots so well uh, that is all about the introduction to internet of things so hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful please the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching my video